Alrighty, folks. Today we're going to do a spring castle-like large elegant table and we've been collecting this dinner set for a couple of years now. We finally got enough pieces. Yeah, you got to find these like a couple pieces at a time. This is called Songbird by Heinrich and Company in the 1920s. It's just beautiful and it's inspiring this castle like spring table we're going to put it over the top for you hopefully right here on my take on home and garden so first thing we want to do is create these fabulous centerpieces that'll be castle worthy for a king we don't have a bunch of money to throw around, so I've made up these pieces. If you look real close, you'll see they're made out of trays and baskets and old pieces. And some of this stuff is from our wedding. But they didn't look like this. Our wedding pieces were silver. This silver tray was a yard sale fine and then I had to come up with two side pieces I needed for this arrangement alrighty we're ready to go got these wonderful pieces from again believe it or not our wedding which is 18 years old and they still look amazing You can probably tell, I don't practice these arrangements. I do them off the cuff for you and hope they come out <laughs> right the way I want them to. I get inspired by just something as simple as a plate or a photograph. Yet I don't need that to put something together. So it's all arc. And that's what you do. Now I've been dying to use these. <laughs> I've had these picked out for this table for months now and I've tried to hide them and they showed their head a little bit in one of the videos. But these are what I made these pedestals for to push over that castle-like centerpiece. No. I gotta put it over the top for you. Now I'm looking at the whole piece and trying to balance it out. That's what's going on. Those of you that are used to doing it, you understand, you know what I'm doing. But I want to help those that might may not know. Close for the base. Get that done. I have a handful of rosebuds that are really good and help push us to where we want to be. So you saw how many pieces went in and really what we're doing is trying to make them look like they're 
one piece and all coordinated. And because we're spring, we've got to get some always helpful Easter lilies in there. Easter's not the theme, but spring still is. So we're going to put that equally in a formal balance where we put one on the left, we put one on the right. Now because of the wonderful spring green white, I want to feather in these green calla lily. It's going to go with this table. Now some of the artists and designers out there tell you that we should be done with the faux fruit, but <laughs> it can still be really beautiful. And I think if you give us a chance, we can show some of that. Our theme is gonna need a lot of yellow and green. And grapes, if we can make them look real. We're going to use a lot of pears and lemons and oranges to push this over. Remember our theme, over the top. <laughs> Castle worthy. There. Done with our fruit, I believe. Okay, we've got a few more pieces. The white cabbage rose. You get two kinds of lavender. Now I'm going to build this with the lighter uh, up here and the darker lower. Get that in, but we don't want it dominant in the high side of our piece. And because it's spring, I want that influence. If this was a wedding piece and you want to use real, you can. I can work with real flowers just as well as these but can you imagine the money to do a video and in four days the flowers are mush and you got nothing so that's the whole idea here everybody should know by now what's coming next we gotta set this table I want to remind everyone that this is a uh, German castle style table. So every piece that goes on this table is going to be a Bavarian piece. Next, dinner napkins. Next, silverware. Salad fork next to the dinner fork. Dinner forks on the inside. Next, dinner knife faces the plate, the cutting edge soup spoon or dinner spoon. Next, our dessert spoon. At the top of the plate. 
the handle points to the other spoon like it could come around. Okay. Next, some ancillary pieces. Next, wine glasses. Right hand corner off the dinner knife. Salt and pepper. One set up at each end of the table. When you have a 12 seater like this, At Christmas time, we'll have about four sets out there. It gets busy, but we make it work. Some of us get a cordial glass for that extra kick. All right, folks, I think we've got it. I'm going to show you all around. Just sitting here waiting with you for the fish and goose soiree. <laughs> but folks, really, if you like our Bavarian style, elegant, castle-like table, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Instagram at my take on home and garden. Pull up a chair next time and we'll see you in the next video. So in my great grandmother's language, du Deutsch, ich liebe und auf Wiedersehen.